that's left of a home on Hartman Road Friday morning is a smoldering pile of rubble. Firefighters and investigators are still on the scene of an early morning fire on Hartman Road. The cause of this fire is deemed to be suspicious. We just shot when we saw this morning and this is possible on the fire. So. Were you renting the place? Yeah, we rent this place and the uh, last time renters move here, like not move, we have to be, be through the, the court because they're not paying rent for 10 months. The owners of the property say they are in shock. They've been in a rental dispute with tenants they had to evict on August 14th. It's been a tough year for the Sanders. Their cherry trees didn't produce this year. The apple crop is not what they're used to. And now this fire has destroyed the home and the outbuildings and RVs on their property. What was your reaction when you got the news? Nobody got Yeah. Other than survive. Yeah. Other than hurting feeling. Yeah. And you know when you're already struggling so hard this year, which we do with cherry crop, then we have a hurt. So hard this year, food size small. Then we hear other problem with the speakers. We heard it back again. Now we have problem with the food again because the food size small. Food have no room to go, and uh, it's so hard. The fire started just before midnight Thursday. When firefighters arrived on scene, they realized there were no fire hydrants in the area. We did have uh, a bunch of challenges in this fire. We had uh, power lines above where our apparatus uh, were positioned. Um, we had a broken gas line in the structure that was on fire. And we had no hydrant service uh, in this area. So crews had to shuttle water back and forth with, uh, with tenders. Even with these challenges, uh, crews were able to make an aggressive stop on the fire uh, and limited um, the, the spread of the fire to most of the adjacent structures. Uh, the one residential structure was, was completely saved with uh, minor damage. Um, and they were also able to stop the fire spread uh, within the shop structure that's on this property. I think our investigator is still um, doing his investigation, and so we, we, we really don't know what caused the fire at this point. Fire crews managed to save one home that is very close to the original fire, but as you can see behind me, this RV and some of the other outbuildings are damaged, some of them beyond repair. Rob Gibson, Castanet News, Kelowna.